Welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. The show has an NL East matchup. It's the Miami Marlins taking on the Philadelphia Phillies. John Shambi on the play-by-play -play with you. Chris Singleton providing the color. And Chris, we've got an opportunity to watch one of the true superstars of the sport. Brandon Jordan. He leads the team and wins above replacement. So most days, you can expect him to be a big factor for these guys. Yeah, bro, he's definitely a huge piece of the puzzle for this ball club right now. Just having a really nice year. And that's on both sides of the ball, not just offensively. You talk to guys in the clubhouse, the coaching staff, they always have great things to say about him. And they say the team really looks to him to be one of the on-field leaders day in and day out. Coming up on the first pitch, and today's starting pitcher, Aaron Nola. His career ERA has been under four. What I like most about him is his reliability. Takes the ball every fifth day, ready to go whenever the manager calls. So just about set now. Here's the center fielder, Brian De La Cruz. Leading off tonight for Miami, the center fielder, Brian De La Cruz. The wind of the pitch. That's a strike, and we're underway. First pitch, 7.06. And a pitch. Flips the corner. No balls, two strikes. And a foul ball. He stays alive. To the right side, Hoskins handles the chance. Tosses to the pitcher, covering the bag. One up, one down. As we take a look at Don Mattingly's lineup for the Marlins, a guy who's been huge for them over the last month plus, Ryan Anderson. Boog, this is one of those guys you want at the plate in those big game-defining moments. I mean, he's such a consistent hitter. You've got to love watching him in those situations, and hopefully we'll get a chance to see that in this one. Here's Joey Wendell. Pitch downstairs, ball one. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Ah. Next offering is in for a strike. No score, just getting started. Top of the first. Swing and a miss. One and the count is one and two. Next oh. offering is down low. The count now two and two. Righty to the plate. Stays alive. Next pitch is inside. Three and two now. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Downstairs, and it misses ball four. Well, he opted to go with the off-speed stuff on that three-two with the bases empty. Close pitch. The first pitch. But now he's got to work out of the stretch. And now it's Jesus Aguilar. First pitch just misses. Nola. He has a reputation, I don't know, maybe a knack for working himself out of tough situations that he finds himself in. You know, you like that in a relief pitcher, but when you have it for a starting pitcher, a guy that can get out of a tight spot, that is pretty valuable. The one up. There goes Wendell. Pitch in for a strike. Throw. Tag. Out. A bullet from JT Real Muto. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. That is strike two. And you won't see the skipper rush to get somebody up in the bullpen as soon as he starts to see some signs of trouble. This guy's earned a longer leash. And because of that, 
confidence grows with the players and teammates playing behind him that when things get a little rough out there, they know he'll find his way through it. Two outs. And a foul ball, he stays alive. How much of the ability to do that in a tight spot is the mental approach? I think it's very much being able to have a laser-like focus, slow everything down, stay right in that moment, pitch to pitch, execution, and focusing on that catcher's mitt. Righty delivers. Wow, this guy's really battling up there as if his run is the game-winning run. I love his tenacity. Three and two now. Got him looking. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. We'll go to the bottom of the first. Zero, zero. Back here, Citizens Bank Park. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Reese Hoskins. For the Phillies, the first baseman. The wind of the pitch. Hoskins. Next offering is in for a strike. Throughout history, the fastball down has been the most successful pitch. Guys can handle a little bit better these days, but they, of course, still prefer something belt high. And here it comes. Haskins didn't like it. And there are two outs. Now at the plate, that Trevor Story. Not two hits for him in yesterday's Trevor. game. And first offering is fouled off. Bounced up the middle. Throw to first is in time. And two quick outs in the bottom of the first here tonight. As we take a gander at Joe Girardi's lineup for the Phillies. Someone who makes things happen for them, in part with his legs, Trevor Story. They'll move, not just the fans, not just the people watching this game, but us. I mean, we're pretty fired up to watch this guy swing the bat. He's got big time pop this season, slugging percentage over 500. Outfielders, put your track shoes on because you're going to be running in the gaps, trying to climb the wall. This guy is going to do damage when he gets the bat to the baseball. Don't take your eyes off. Brandon Jordan in the box with two gone. And takes a look at a called strike. Not sure if he was expecting for the pitcher to come right at him, but he got a nice cookie there and just watched it the entire way. And that one hammered. That's back. Go! He flexes his power with that swing. Home run number 20 on the year, and the grab the lead. It's 1-0. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Two outs, nobody on. Here's Bryce Harper. Batting four. The right field. That one's in there on one. one. Harper. Next one misses. One ball, one strike. Next offering misses. And a count, two and one. Fouls one off. Two and two.
The wind of the pitch. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. Next offering is foul back. I want to start that load a little bit sooner because of the could be low. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Out number three. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's now 1 nothing. Gotta make this life go paradise. So it go paranormal like paradise. But my mojo right. And my motor right. So I roll a dice. So I see the day. I'm blowing. Back at Citizens Bank Park, and stepping in is the speedy Avisail the Garcia. The right fielder, number 14, Avisail. The right-hander back to work. And first offering is fouled off. He needs a quick one, two, three this time around. Last inning, through a lot of pitches. Fly ball to right center. Harper drops steps, heads back on it. Flashes the leather on the running catch. And there's one down. That is good. The designated hitter. Ryan. Now here's the Marlins Anderson. DH. Ryan Anderson. And first offering is fouled off. pitch that's off the mark and that's ball well, one Ricky Holiday our umpire behind the dish known as pretty fair umpire for both hitters and pitchers yeah I think that's right boob there is a little inconsistency on the corners of the plate you can't always be sure how it's going to go with those borderline pitches as the game progresses bouncer to Hoskins off balance throw in time two up two down in the top of the second that is good. The left fielder, Jesus Sanchez. Two outs, base is empty. Jesus Sanchez, the next up for the Marlins. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Ball one, no strike. Next offering upstairs. Next one misses, and now 3-0. Count 3-0. Pulls that one to foul. That was a nice bid right there to try to tie up this ball game. Just couldn't keep it from bending foul. He looked locked in on that swing. Pitcher better be careful with him right now. 3-1, and he couldn't come up with it. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Batting seven. Jazz Chisholm seven now. Basement. Jazz Chisholm. Yeah, first offering is fouled off. Offer is in for a strike. I got the count. Oh, entry. The next nope. pitch misses. Now one and two. Sanchez off of first with two away. And a swing and a miss. On to first. And that is that. One left for Miami. They're down. One nothing. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. Castellanos having more success against left-handed pitching this season, as might be expected. The 
pitch. And first offering is fouled off. And he's down 0 2 as he swings through it. Well, don't expect too many more high fastballs. This is a good sinker ball pitcher, and sometimes they can make mistakes trying to pitch up in the zone. Look for him to stay down around the knees to be effective. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. One out. Wow, just great bite to that slider. Broke hard out of the zone, and he just couldn't hold up the swing. The you know, as a hitter, that pitch is really hard to take. It, there's just not much you can do with it. You know that, but you don't want to get rung up by the umpire. And up to the plate is JT Real Muto. Ripped on a line. De La Cruz right there to make the grab. And there's two down. Batting seven. The third baseman. Red. Here's Chris Bryant oh, yeah. now. His righty lefty splits there. First offering misses badly for ball one. Right-hander deals. Stays alive. And that one fouled off. The pitch. That one is hammered. Right field. Way back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. Phillies go down quietly in the inning, but they hold a 1-0 lead. <music> on to the third inning. Jacob Stallings now. Leading off for the Marlins, the catcher, Jacob Stallings. Line to kick the pitch. And there's the strike. That fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. Hit hard. That gets through. Now I'm sure he feels really good about that one. There's nothing done. cheap about the way the he got shot. that one through the infield. That was ripped. Caught out in oh. front and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on it. Miguel Rojas at the plate. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Kicks and fires. And what is upstairs? Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss. Sometimes being lucky is a swing and miss. If he makes contact with that pitch, probably hits into a double play. And a one-two. Got him swinging. One gone here. And up next now for Miami, Ryan De La Cruz. Ryan De La Cruz. That one lifted in the air, center field. Jordan puts it away, two away. Now batting, third baseman, Joey Wendell.
Now the number two hitter, Joey Wendell. First off, bring it just misses. Here's a 1-1. One, one. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. Look like you got a little excited on that fastball. Got to think to yourself, you want to stay up the middle. That way, if you're a little bit early, you hit it out of the ballpark. If you're a little late, opposite field knock. Left-hand batter waits. Oh, okay. Upstairs. Just not taking the bait right there, but a good pitch with two strikes. And the righty deals. Off the outside edge with that one, and now it's filled up. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Breaks his bat, pops it up. Bryant throw to first in time. Third out, and that ends the frame. Marlins lead one. They trail here, one nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now it's the veteran outfielder, Kyle Schwarber. For the Phillies, the left fielder, Kyle Schwarber. Alcantara back to work. He swings and misses at the first pitch, 0-1. And he deals. And strike two. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. Swings and misses. And there's one down. Wow. Short work to send him back in to start the inning. And no messing around either. All three pitches were in the strike zone. Attack mode all the way. And that's pretty impressive given the pop he was dealing with at the plate. Gene Segura at the plate here. He's sitting on 99 career homers. We'll see if this is the moment to notch number 100. Ball one, no strike. Ball one, no strikes to Segura. And that's outside. That one's spoiled, and we count now two and one. Here comes a pitch. That's off the mark. And now three and one. The three-one in for a strike. Full count. that one down the line that's a hit and now the lineup turns over with one away and the batter now is Reese Hoskins Hoskins Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Segura at first, one gone. Next offering is in for a strike. Two pretty nasty sliders to get this hitter in an 0-2 count. If you're up there at the plate, you got to look up in the zone and spit on anything that's down. Can't field it cleanly. Oh, he throws it away. 
Well, you can't give two errors on that play, but uh, that's pretty much what it looked like. He tried to stay with it after the bobble, and he might have pulled it off with a good throw, but it's very easy to rush the throw when you don't build it cleanly. A lot of times, guys don't have a good grip on it, and I think that was the case right there. And the batter will be the shortstop, Trevor Story. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. In there for strike one. Ones count. At the belt and fires. Found off left side. The pitch. Cut on and miss, struck him out. And there's two away. Well, Boog, it becomes pretty difficult as a teammate when a guy's struggling like this. You don't know if the you want to go up and tell him to keep swinging it or if you want to give him his space, right what exactly he Go needs. There. But right now, it's clearly a struggle for him, and you're just hoping that somehow, some way, it'll click and he can get out of this as quickly as possible. Brandon Jordan getting ready to hit. In there and it's 0-1. Well, he's so good about trying to drive the ball to the opposite field gap in these situations. If he takes that approach, he could bust this game wide open. And the pitch. Now one and one. Second and third, two down. Next one is off the play. Two and one. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. Two on, two outs. And that's going to be a double, and it'll score two. Another score. Two runs in on the play, and they're up by three. You've got to get on your course to get to that thing and get it back in because he's going to come barrel around first. He's going to put pressure on you. If you gobble it or you don't get there in a hurry, he's going to make you look silly and end up on second base. And it's forward position with two away. Now it's the cleanup hitter for the okay. Phillies. Bryce Harper. One. In there Harper. for strike one. Pushed foul out of play off to the left. Here's the 0-2. That's down and in. That's a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. Left-hand hitter waits. A foul ball. He stays alive. And on second, two down. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field. Dela Cruz makes the catch, and that'll do it. But they'll pick up a couple runs here, both coming on this two-run double. It's now 3-0. you softly because you like the gas tank over Mr. Softies in the wind and ain't feeling you. See, every time you see me, I got something new. Here in Philadelphia, start of the fourth, and at the plate for Miami, Jesus Aguilar. The first baseman, Jesus Aguilar. And the right hander back to work. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Jordan gliding back and makes the grab. And there's one away. The right fielder, number 14, Avisayo. Garcia. Abasail Garcia, the next up for the Marlins. Hit it well, but flied out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time. First pitch, not close. Well, the offense has gotten going, and a pitcher wants to go out there, have a real quick inning, get those guys back into the dugout so those bats can stay hot.
One down, base is empty. Fouled off, he was late. Ball to strike. Line drive, and that's a base hit out of the center field. Right there, does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Now, Man, Brandon, there are a lot of the hits there. Hitter, Brian Anderson. So up next, Brian Anderson. 0 for 1. He grounded out to first his last time. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Next one is off the plate. Two balls, no strikes to count. Two oh. Swing and a miss. And it's two and one. And it's even up. Two and two. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And there's two away. Came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes Up to shoot the, the ball the other way. The but that time, a little anxious. Now the left fielder, Jesus Sanchez. Worked a walk in his first trip to the plate. Nola keeping him close. One's in there, 0 and 1. It's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Righty delivers. Next offering is outside. No, oh, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. And a pitch. And one and two. One ball, two strikes, Cam. Righty to the plate. Stays alive. and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Schwarber makes the catch, and that'll do it. One left for Miami. They trail in this one, 3 nothing. And welcome back. John Chabi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Nick Castellanos. The designated hitter. Nick. The pitch. And a foul ball. Next pitch is outside. Next one misses, two balls and a strike. Back-to-back -back breaking pitches away, you get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher's afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here. In the air, left field, down the line. Sanchez racing over to make the catch. The batter, the catcher, 
JT. JT Real, Real Muto steps in. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. Right-hander kicks deals. And another ball. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. On the ground, right side. To his left, knocks it down. But plenty of time to recover, and that's the second out. Now batting, third baseman, Red Ryan. Two outs, base is empty. Now the third baseman, Chris Bryant. He's old for a walk. What about him playing another position on defense, one that would require a little more range? Absolutely, and I think if push came to shove where they had to make a, a move during a game, it surprised a lot of people. You might even be able to put him in center field. And a pitch. On the ground, right side. And that's just foul. the pitch a foul ball he stays alive and here it comes and a swing and a miss and that's that down quickly go the Phillies but they're on top by a count of three to nothing Back here in Philadelphia, ready now for the fifth inning. Here's the second Leading baseman, the Jazz Marlins. Chisholm. The second baseman. The Marlins Jazz. in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff man. Need a good at bat out of him right here. Flips the corner, and it's 0 and 1. Next offering is in the dirt. In the air, out towards right center. Harper settles underneath it, hauls it in for the out. Now batting, catcher, Jacob Stalling. And now the catcher comes up to him, Jacob Stallings. Well, on the mound, very efficient, able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. First offering, misses the ball. One, no strike. Swing and a miss. One ball, one and strike. a count one and one. The pitch. Line drive to short and caught. Now batting, shortstop, Miguel Rojas. Two outs, space is empty. Now it's the shortstop, Miguel Rojas. He was a strikeout victim his first time. First pitch, and he just misses. Next pitch misses, and the count is 2-0. The wind to kick the 2 -0. Base knock, center field. Now batting. The center Back field. to the top of the Miami Ryan. order. And now the center fielder, Brian De La Cruz. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Rojas off of first with two away. Turned on, but foul wide of third.
is a 1-1. Hey. Swing and a miss. Came out. And that is that. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like the fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and miss, and you walk off the field. Welcome back. Bottom of the inning. And digging in for Philadelphia, Kyle Schwarber. For the Phillies, the left fielder, Kyle Schwarber. The wind of the pitch. Just missed. The 1-1. One, one. And that's downstairs and outside. Next offering misses. Three and one. A rare three ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. pitch and there's a rocket into the outfield around first digging for two and he's there with a lead off double he drove that ball nicely put a great swing on it and it jumped off his back kind of put it all together there and he's rewarded with the double now here is Gene Segura Singleton scored his first time. Two, second baseman, G. And that's in there for strike one. A one down. And a foul ball. No outs, runner on second. Fly ball to right. Garcia gets under it, makes the catch, and there's one gone. The first baseman, number 17. So the batting Three. order turns over, and it's oh, Reese yeah. Hoskins up to the dish. Hey. In there, and it's on one. Man, 91 on the slider right there. That's a hard one. That's a low-end fastball for some guys. One out and a runner at second. Next offering is in for a strike. Man, this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. And the throw gets away. Into third now. So runners at the corners and one out. The back. That's your shot. Trevor. Story. One down. Here's Trevor Story now. Ball. 
First and third, one down. Next pitch oh, off the play, and now it's even one and one. Next offering way off the plate. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. The count two and one. Base hit and a run comes in. Not in time. He's safe. Well, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. The manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. They bring a young arm out of the bullpen in this spot, Jesus Lazardo. Hasn't pitched in the last three days. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and we get a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. And now for the Phillies, Brandon Jordan. And yeah, the first offering is not close. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. On the ground to third, might be two. Over to Chisholm, there's one. Double play, and that'll do it for the inning. We're through five. It's the Phillies four, and the Marlins nothing. No judge, but your fake case closed, and I ain't got a law degree. I can't understand why they all of me. I'm crazy, don't get involved with me. I dropped the top and feel this autumn breeze. You need Back here at the ballpark, all set for the top of the sixth. And Leading now the here Marlins. is Joey the Wendell. Joey the wind of the pitch. This one lifted in the air, left field. And there's a hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. That's a ball that a lot of times you'll see the shortstop or left fielder be able to get to if it hangs up in the air long enough. But right there, it just died and found a way to drop in on the green stuff for the base hit. And here's the first baseman, Jesus Aguilar. That one's in there, 0-1. Now, these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. And he deals. Strike two. All right, now, he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls. But at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. Lead runner to second, so two on and nobody out. That's back-to-back -back singles Up for him. For Pretty tough for the infielders to do the anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield. And even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ballgame. Abasail Garcia up to the plate. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Hit on the ground, might be two. Over to Story for one. On to first, but it pulls him off the bat. Well, they had the chance of turning two right there, but I don't think he got a good grip on the ball as he tried to transfer from glove to throwing hand. They say you can't assume a double play. I beg to differ at the big, big level, but it's going to be ruled as a fielder's choice. Ryan Anderson now at the plate. Out to short, dive, and he's got it. Over to Segura. Double play. What a quick killing to end the unit. To the bottom of the six we go. 4-5-6 coming up. It's the Phillies four and the Marlins nothing. There we go, bottom six. Now here is Bryce Harper. Leading up for the Phillies, the right fielder. Right. Harper. The pitch. 
There's a strike. Power relievers, one after another, coming out of the bullpen these days. Got to be ready for that first pitch heater. at the plate now. The designated hitter, number four, Nick. Nope, and the first eight. pitch misses no, no. for ball one. Count one and oh. And now the lefty. That one missed. Well, he gave up the home run earlier in this inning, not pitching as aggressively here. Foul ball makes the count two and one. Up the middle, base hit. Back-to-back -back base hits. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked Catcher. that ball back Catchy. up the middle. Timing was just Real perfect. Utah. Got great wood on it, and there's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. And now it is JT Real Muto. In there for strike one. Castellanos aboard here at first with nobody out. Oh. Next one just misses. It's a ball and two strikes. Swing and a miss. One away, bottom of the sixth. Oh, that's a curveball that people like to describe as a hammer or Uncle Charlie. Now, you can see why. Wow, it's man. not a looping Great. slow curve. He throws it hard well, and he yeah. gets plenty of bite on the end. And at first, Chris Bryant gets a chance to hit here. There and it's 0 1. All in one now. Not the best swing that time from the first round pick. pitch in the dirt at the belt fight stays alive and the pitch and yeah, there's the ball Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. 
That's his second strikeout. This guy will throw any pitch in any count. 3 2. He goes off speed, gets the, the out. The left fielder, Kyle. Schwarber. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. In the air to left center, Sanchez on the move, snags it on the run. And that will end the inning. The Phillies add another on this solo homer. And the lead is now 5-0. Top of inning number seven. Here's the left fielder, Jesus Sanchez. The, the left fielder, Jesus Sanchez. Nola back to work. There's a strike. And he'll one. Ball one there. That's Good eye right there. Fly ball down the line. Racing makes the catch. One away. The batter number two, second baseman, Jazz. Jazz Chisholm. Chisholm digs in now. Hey. And that's in there for strike one. Wind of the pitch. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. And there's two down. Two outs. Base is empty. Now Patrick. it's the Marlins catcher. Jacob, Jacob Stallings. Stallings. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Hoskins makes the catch. And that'll do it. Enough to do it for the Marlins. Still looking at that 5 nothing deficit. Bottom of the seventh. Now it's the second baseman, Gene Segura. Possibly thinking about home run number 100 here. Just one shy of that milestone. The pitch. And that skips into dirt. And downstairs. Not showing great command so far in this at bat. 2 0 count. He's got to execute here, or this could get ugly. The 2 0 is in for a strike. And now it's even up. It might be time to choke up a little bit, get that front foot down early, maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. On the ground, out to short. Rojas with the throw to first. Segura out in the play. Fastball groove right down the middle. Usually a lot of damage done with that pitch. A hard grounder, but he wanted to get that ball in the air. Maybe drive it into the gap. 
stepping in the long ball Brett Reese Hoskins good power not great in the OBP department that one hits out. the dirt and it's one to know. Pitch misses inside. Two balls, no strikes. Next offering is down low. Well, I would expect in this 3 0 count, you're taking all the way. See if they'll walk you. 3 0 down. Here's the strike, and it's three and one. Kicks and fires. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. And he got him two away down. Simply said, this guy's flailing at the plate right now. Just disconnected from head to toes in terms of the sink of his body. That's his fifth strikeout in the series. And we're just two games in. So hoping to see some kind of adjustment out of him. His at-bats are just a little tough to watch right now. Here's Trevor Story. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. This to third, and he picks it up in foul territory. On the ground, right side. Play made, that ends the inning. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Phillies five and the Marlins nothing. Back at Citizens Bank Park, and here is Miguel Rojas. For Miami, the shortstop. Miguel And a pitch. In the air, right side of the infield. Segura makes the grab. One pitch and one out. The batter, the center fielder, Ryan De La Cruz. So the lineup flips over. Now it's the Marlins leadoff hitter, Ryan De La Cruz. First offering misses the mark. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Sam Kunra getting ready to go. Brogdon getting loose as well. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Two down. Up next for the Marlins, the third baseman, Joey Wendell. Two outs, base is empty. And the batter now, Joey Wendell, for the fourth time tonight. On the ground to short story handles and it's a one two three inning Miami down in order it's five nothing the new pitcher in the game Jordan Holloway big deficit here but he's still got a job to do Jordan Holloway Back here in Philadelphia, out of the bottom of the eighth. So digging in Moving now for Philadelphia, Philadelphia, Brandon Jordan. The center fielder, Brandon. And a pitch. Jordan. Good eye right there. 
This is inside, and it's 2 and 0. He's been raking in recent games, and a big reason why, getting ahead in counts. He's been able to do that consistently, and you see the results. That one in for a strike, 2 and 2. down on strikes and that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth Bryce Harper right here, stands Never in for the Phillies right. he's already homered in this game Harper. Swing and a ball lifted in the air, left field, pretty well struck. Bangs off the wall. And he's got a double. Put some good swings on the ball. That's his second extra base hit in this one. So close to blasting that one out of here the other way. But well, that's very tough to do when you take on the outfield gap like that. Beautiful swing, though. Let the ball get a little deep and drove it to the opposite field. The designated Next hitter, is the designated four. hitter, Nick Castellanos. Tough game, Pitch misses Castellanos. inside, and that is ball one. Runner at second here, one gone. Out to short, Rojas over to pick it up. And Castellanos is out. Now batting the catcher, JT Real Muto. Here's the Phillies catcher, JT Real Muto. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller. Good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. Harper stands at second with two gone. The next pitch misses. Ball two. You come into the game knowing that unless the ball's in the dirt or gets by him, we're probably not going to steal anything today. So that's where you want to get a little more aggressive on your secondary lead and hope that some base hits, some slogs, some home runs can come into play. Ground ball left side over to Aguilar. And Real Muto is out. Gets him easily, ends the inning. One left for Philadelphia as they are unable to add to their 5 nothing lead. Back here in Philadelphia, digging in. Jesus Aguilar. Leading off for the Marlins. The first base. Well, I'll say this as a former Jesus. position player and base stealer. When you come into a game and you've got a guy like this behind the dish with a big arm. You really have to change your approach. Can't try to steal because you'll get thrown out. Maybe get a little bigger lead, be aggressive on the secondary, but this type of guy shuts the running game down. Not close with that one, and that's ball one. The next offering misses. Uh, that's ball two. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. That one fouled off. Pulled down the line. This one hammered, but it's fouled. Well, he saw that change up really well. Just a little early. Still barreled it. As you see, home run distance just couldn't keep it fair. Base hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff knock. 
Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. So, man aboard. Here's the cleanup hitter for Miami. Avasayu Garcia. One for three. Swing and a line drive, base hit out of the center field. Throw back in quickly, first and second now with nobody out. The batter, number 15. One of the first real jams this of the game for him, Boog. Back-to-back -back -back singles Anderson. to start the inning, and he's had a real solid outing, but he needs to lock this situation down if he wants it to stay that way. And now for the Marlins, Ryan Anderson. In the dirt, block. First and second here, no outs. Next pitch misses inside, two and oh. Two oh. Misses with the two oh, and he's fired three straight outside the strike zone. And now three and one. And the righty deals. Liner, and that should be extra bases. Aguilar coming home. One run scores. Here comes another. Hey! Now he's safe. Hey, they're right back in this thing after adding those two runs on the board. Just a great approach. Looks like that was exactly what he wanted to do with that pitch. And right off the bat, he knew he was taking that wide turn at first to head for second. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Aaron Nola's day comes to an end. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. Corey Knievel will take over here. He'll try to strand the runner at second. Number 48. Corey. Knievel. Now the left fielder, Jesus Sanchez. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Now the 0-1. Pitch misses inside. And the count is 1-1. One one. And a 1-1. One one. And another ball. Kicks and deals. Swing and blast one down the line. It's gone if it's fair, but it hooks foul. Well, that ball is hit pretty hard and sure had home run distance, but if you're the pitcher out there on the mound, you execute it. Just a long strike. You go after him and finish him off. And the right hander deals. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And one gone. Got him out on the front foot. Couldn't keep the hands back long enough, and he played right into in the hands of the pitcher. And up next for Miami, Jazz Chisholm. Out to short, 
It's in and out of his glove. And no throw. He's into first easily. Hard to tell exactly what went wrong Kepler. right there. That was a Big fairly game. routine Good. ground ball, but he just couldn't get it to stick in the glove. Might have taken his eye off it a little early, but regardless, you're going to have to work around that error. Here's the catcher to hit, Jacob Stallings. That one's in there on one. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Anderson at second. Chisholm over at first with one away. Oh, and Chusey waves at that one. Everyone here understands just how quickly things could change. The time run at the plate. That one misses. And a count one and two. This one in the air center field. They get the out on stone. And there's two away. Miguel Rojas, the next up for the Marlins. In there, and it's 0-1. And I know you want to be patient as a hitter, but you got to be ready to jump on the first thing straight. And he got one right there, but left the bat on his shoulder. Left foul. Just one out away. Try to close it out. Count one and two. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Dodges that fastball. Next pitch just misses, and it's three and two. Right handed reliever. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Now that sets up a really big at bat in this game. These are the moments where yeah, everyone that. in the stadium the gets field. really locked in. Ryan. Back to the top of the lineup. Brian De La Cruz, the next to hit. Swings through that one. 0 oh, 1. Bases loaded, two down. Comes up empty on the swing, oh, okay. two now. Two outs. Gonna count one and two. Well, that's kind of what you expect in an 0-2 count. Excellent job of the hitter to have the plate discipline to lay off of that pitch. Down to their final strike. And the one two misses to even the count. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. This is a tightly played game, got a little bit of everything, some timely hitting, runs on the board, key pitching and defense in certain spots, definitely a fun one to watch.
and your final score, 5-2. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long.